hey guys welcome back to my channel Tess here and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about the different means of transportation in Italy so when you're in Italy there are different ways in which you can move around um, especially with the public transportation and also when you're trying to travel long distance maybe you want to travel and visit a place um, so I'm gonna be telling you guys um, all the different methods and also some of the affordable ones especially for students who probably want to travel on a budget so yeah let's get right into the video so in italy there are different ways you can travel so there is trains there is bus um there is also flight and also there is means of car and i'm gonna tell you guys about that towards the end so stay tuned uh and watch the video until the end so uh when it comes to like the trains there is the fast trains and the regional trains so the fast trains are the trains that um like move really fast um and they don't really stop at like all the stops they stop at very specific stops um and also they are more expensive so because they are fast obviously they will be expensive so for that and uh, normally they usually do have offers for students who are below the age of 26. So if you have, if you are below the age of 26, um, the uh, train Italia usually has offers for the young people who are below the age of 26. So you can actually register with their website and you get their card number. And most of the time, if you are trying to travel long distance, uh, and you want to use a fast train, they usually do have discounted price for young people who are below the age of 26. So you can check that out. But then if you do not have the money to pay for the fast trains, uh, you can always take the regional trains. Obviously, they are much more affordable. But then if you're probably traveling a long distance journey of maybe like six hours that would take you a long long time and that will really exhaust you so you can see your options and see if you do have um, the option of taking the fast train or the regional train so regional trains most of the time you can take them when you are traveling short distances for example in cities close by but if you are trying to travel long distance then most of the time they are not like really the most convenient ones because one this will stop at almost every stop um they're usually also mostly very crowded but then also um like you get there you get to your destination really really exhausted but yeah if you're traveling on a budget and probably maybe you want to explore the country a little bit better yeah you could use the regional trains i did use it when i was there and uh yeah if you are a student and you're on budget there's nothing much you can do but use what is in your range so yeah those are the two trains you can use the um fast train um and the uh the regional train so fast trains they have different types they have Freccia Rosa, Freccia Bianca, and I think also Italo. So I don't know if they've added another one since I left Italy, but yeah, those are the three most famous fast trains that you could use. And then um, the next means of transportation also is buses. Buses are also usually very affordable, even when you are traveling long distance. Sometimes if you find that with train, it is not convenient actually buses are usually like um the most convenient and affordable way of actually also traveling long distance so you find that also many people do prefer to take buses so the most common one is a flix bus and it travels basically mostly around the whole of europe so you find that it's even going to other countries not just in italy so if you are trying to travel to other countries or long distance around Italy, you could use buses and Flixbus is like one of them that you could use. And then um, you can also use flights. So like these, these flights that are usually um, mostly 
like within Europe, like there is EasyJet, Ryanair. Those are usually like very affordable trains. There is also Wiz, there is Eurowings. Um, they are like certain flights that are usually very affordable. Uh, and you can use them to travel like around Europe or even around Italy. But most of the time is like if you're trying to travel to another European country. So, but Ryanair would say is like, Ryanair and EasyJet, I would say like they're the most affordable uh, short flights that you can take around Europe. So they always do have offers um like within the period of the year you just have to keep checking their website and see what they are offering sometimes you can even find a flight ticket of less than 10 euro i remember um, when i was done with my internship in poland and i was coming back to italy i bought my ticket for like seven euro you guys from warsaw to to i think rome yeah it was like seven euro very affordable so yeah, they also usually have a very, very affordable flight ticket. So yeah, watch out on that. And then the tip of the iceberg that I wanted to tell you guys is that there is this means of transportation called blah, blah car. So this is a means where you hop into someone's car. So some people will be traveling long distance and they will probably need people to like share fuel prices with so they will list their travel on this website is called blah blah car and i'll leave it for you guys in the description box um and so they will list their destination from this point to this point and they are charging this amount of money and so they will need probably need this amount of so if their car co can carry like three people four people so they will say the number of people they want so you get into the website, register, check the destination you're going to from the point where you are and see people who are offering rides from that place and see how but most of the time I'm telling you guys is like one of also the most um, affordable way of traveling. I've used it so many times when I was in Italy, even when I was in Poland. I remember um, I was doing a visit from Poland to Germany to Berlin and I use blah blah car and I'm telling you it's super super affordable and also cars are even faster than like regional trains so that is also another way in which you can uh, use um, this means of transportation when you are trying to travel around Italy because I know as a student you also want to explore places so check blah blah car and trust me you thank me later so it's also another affordable way you can travel and it's actually very safe because I know sometimes people will be skeptical about traveling with somebody in a car, but it is actually very safe. I used it so many times when I was in Italy and that was like the most affordable way I was able to like travel like long distance when I was in Italy. So yeah, blah, blah car is like one of the most uh, also affordable way of traveling around Italy. So yeah, guys, check this um, means of transportation and also let me know if this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.